Welcome to another video from electricalpereview.com. Today we will be covering current transformers. A 1500 to 5 current transformer is used to measure the current on a 230 kV line. If 115 amps are flowing through the line, how many amps does the instrument see that is connected to the current transformer? If the impedance of the CT circuit is 1.15 ohms, determine the burden. This is going to come straight from our transformer equations, but an easy way to remember if you're using the right ones or not is a CT is always going to reduce or step down the current for metering purposes. So if you do your equations and your secondary or your CT current is higher than what you started with, uh, chances are you, you need to stop and back up. It should always be lower. Second thing worth pointing out is burden in this definition is a secondary load of the current transformer measured from the secondary terminals, it's usually always going to be expressed in volt amps. So to start things off, we're going to find our current going to our CT uh, by dividing the line current by our ratio of 1500 to 5. Our line current here in this example was given in the problem statement as 115 amps. Solving for our secondary current, or our current transformer current, we're going to find 0 0.38 amps. And that is the current being derived through the windings of the CT off the primary line. Okay, now that we've got our CT amps, we're going to use this information to find the burden. Using standard Ohm's law, we can calculate the voltage seen at our CT as 0 0.437 volts. Our ohms here is given to us in the problem statement as the impedance of the CT circuit itself. Using this information, we can use a standard power formula to plug it in, solving for current and volts. It gives us a total of 0 0.17 volt amps. Now I know what you're thinking, typically when we multiply voltage and current, we're left with watts. However, CT burdens are always almost exclusively uh, expressed in volt amps, so remember that. Alternatively, another way to solve for the same thing, uh, it's a little bit quicker, we can use our power formula of I squared R, uh, plugging in our CT amps and solving for our burden. We arrive at the same answer of 0 0.17 volt amps. So that's it for this example. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this exercise. Please leave any comments below and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.